So why are we starting today's Liberty News TV report with a song from Otis Redding? Sitting in the morning sun. Why Otis Redding? Because he's one of the all-time greats in that all-American musical genre known as Memphis Soul, which will be celebrated in style tonight at the White House in yet another grand get-together, a presidential party you and I are paying for. No White House tours for you and me, but plenty of musical stars for the Obamas and their invited guests. This is the 10th celebration of music at the Obama White House, which we suppose is a good thing. Except, on the one hand, the White House parties, and on the other hand, tells us all sorts of bad news, like debts and deficits piling up, the unemployment rate being high, more and more Americans dropping out of the workforce, which means lots of folks are on food stamps. So you know what? Sitting on the dock of Bay is appropriate after all. I've had nothing to live for It looked like nothing's gonna come my way As he was getting ready to party hardy, the president took the time to declare today, Tuesday, National Equal Pay Day, symbolically marking the differences between the pay of men and women, which is made all the more interesting by the fact that in the Obama White House, female staffers are paid less than their male counterparts. As we fast approach tax day, April 15th, multiple sources tell us that Obama's IRS is getting social in their efforts to catch tax cheats. They say the IRS may well be checking Twitter and Facebook accounts, what you say and what you post there, for clues that you're trying to cheat the system. As Congress gets back to work this week, new gun control legislation is on the agenda. We'll likely learn details of at least one bill to be introduced by Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. And we'll likely see if a threatened GOP filibuster of that bill materializes. Senate Minority Leader McConnell says he'll join about a dozen of his Republican colleagues in trying to block the bill. Who won't be talking up a storm? Lindsey Graham and John McCain who recently said he just doesn't understand the Republican filibuster plan. And PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, wants to become a stalker. PETA says it's in the market to buy a drone to stalk hunters, to spot potentially illegal hunting activity. Now, PETA says its drone would not be weaponized, but supposedly the hunters would be. That's Liberty News TV for today. Please join us online at libertynews.com and follow us on Twitter where we are at Liberty Protecting It. I'm Norval Rose. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.